Our extraordinary planet, Earth, is adorned with a breathtaking feature that accounts for a remarkable 70% of its surface, the vast and enchanting oceans. In this exploration, we embark on a captivating journey to unravel the fascinating stories surrounding Earth's oceans. From their mysterious formation to the emergence of prehistoric creatures that once roamed their depths, we delve into the captivating story that lies beneath the waves. Let's begin. Picture a time long before human existence, when our planet was still in its infancy, a time of tumultuous upheaval and fiery chaos. As Earth gradually took shape, a remarkable transformation was underway, the birth of our majestic oceans. The secret of this ancient genesis remained shrouded in mystery, enticing scientists to unravel the enigma. Two compelling theories emerge each offering a glimpse into the extraordinary forces at play. The first theory, known as the volcanic degassing hypothesis, paints a vivid picture of a primordial Earth seething with volcanic activity. Molten rock spewed forth, unleashing a torrent of pent-up water from deep within the Earth's interior. This release of water, concealed for eons, surged to the surface, giving birth to the first ocean, the primitive ocean. It was an awe-inspiring spectacle, a dance of fire and water, shaping the destiny of our planet. A second theory, the sky water hypothesis, transports us to a time when our young Earth faced a cosmic bombardment. Meteorites, comets, and asteroids rained down upon our world delivering precious cargo from the depths of the universe. Among these celestial gifts were icy bodies laden with water molecules. These icy wanderers collided with Earth's surface, their frigid cargo melting upon impact. Drop by drop, these cosmic messengers contributed to the growing oceans, an aqueous mosaic sculpted by celestial intervention. But the story does not end there. Imagine a landscape marred by towering volcanoes erupting with explosive force. These fiery behemoths shaped not only the land, but also the skies above. Their mighty eruptions gave rise to billowing clouds, billowing forth from the very heart of the Earth. Within these ethereal formations, water vapor mingled and condensed, droplets of liquid falling gently back to the surface. With each eruption and subsequent rainfall, the oceans swelled, their depths teeming with life's potential. And so, the ancient oceans were born, a testament to the indomitable forces of nature. Their mysterious formation, a delicate interplay between volcanic fury, celestial encounters, and the gentle touch of rainfall, set the stage for the grand tapestry of life that would unfold. In the quietude of the past, as Earth's landscapes matured and cooled, the stage was set for the next chapter, the emergence of prehistoric creatures that would come to roam the depths of these magnificent oceans. Approximately 540 million years ago, in a pivotal moment etched in Earth's history, the oceans experienced a breathtaking explosion of life. This was the Cambrian era, a chapter teeming with wonder and evolutionary marvels that forever shaped the trajectory of life on our planet. During this transformative period, the oceans underwent a remarkable proliferation and diversification of life forms. It was a time when the stage was set for the emergence of multicellular organisms, with differentiated cells and specialized organs, a groundbreaking milestone in the history of life. In the ancient seas, an intricate web of interactions wove together as organisms adapted and evolved, giving rise to complex food chains and ecosystems. The once quiet and barren waters now brimmed with an abundance of marine life, each species playing a unique role in the grand symphony of survival. 
To this day, the fossilized remnants from the Cambrian era stand as valuable testimonies to this explosion of life. Among the most renowned fossil sites is the Burgess Shale, nestled in the breathtaking landscapes of Canada. Here, the exceptional preservation of soft-bodied organisms offers us an unparalleled glimpse into the prehistoric world that thrived in the ancient seas. Immerse yourself in this fossil gallery of ancient wonders where strange and fantastical creatures with peculiar appendages and bizarre forms come to life. From the iconic trilobites with their intricate exoskeletons and intricate spines to the enigmatic Anomalocaris, a fearsome predator boasting a segmented body and formidable appendages, the Cambrian fossils captivate our imagination. Each fossil discovery adds another piece to the intricate puzzle of life's history, illuminating the pathways and adaptations that paved the way for the vast array of organisms we know today. The Cambrian explosion serves as a testament to the boundless creativity of evolution, revealing the wondrous intricacies and the kaleidoscope of forms that emerged from the depths of our ancient oceans. In the Cambrian period, on one hand, the land posed numerous challenges with its harsh environmental conditions. The oceans brimmed with an astonishing diversity of life. One of the most iconic inhabitants of these ancient seas were the trilobites. These extraordinary creatures, known for their distinctive three-lobed body shape, were among the most prevalent organisms during the Cambrian era. Fossilized remains of trilobites have provided us with invaluable insights into their morphology and behaviors. With their intricate exoskeletons and delicately segmented bodies, these ancient arthropods left behind a rich and detailed record of their existence. Yet trilobites were not the sole inhabitants of the Cambrian oceans. The seas were bustling with a mesmerizing array of marine organisms, each occupying their unique niche in this bustling ecosystem. Worms wriggled through the sediment, sponges filtered the water, mollusks adorned the seabed, and echinoderms gracefully roamed the ocean floor. Some of these groups still exist today, a testament to their enduring success and adaptability. However, the Cambrian seas were also home to a myriad of species that have long since vanished, their fascinating forms lost to the depths of time. As we delve into the fossil record, we uncover the remnants of a world where vibrant colors, intricate structures, and bewildering adaptations flourish. The fossilized imprints of ancient worms, with their delicate traces etched into the rock, give us a glimpse into their elusive lives. Exquisite shells of mollusks and the intricate spines of echinoderms transport us to a time when these creatures dominated the seascape. The Cambrian period stands as a pivotal chapter in Earth's history, where the oceans played host to an extraordinary diversity of life forms, many of which laid the foundation for the organisms that would follow. Next, we step into the Paleozoic era, a mesmerizing chapter spanning over 290 million years with a rich tapestry of marine life that thrived in its ancient seas. From the proliferation of corals to the evolution of jawed fish and the rise of armored giants, let's explore the captivating details of this remarkable era. In the Paleozoic seas, corals reigned supreme, marking the beginning of reef-building ecosystems. Solitary rough corals and colonial tabulate corals flourished, creating intricate structures that provided shelter and support for a multitude of organisms. The roughy corals developed calcareous skeletons, transitioning from solitary forms to expansive colonies, while the tabulate corals displayed intricate exoskeletons composed of calcite. As we delve deeper, we encounter the diverse array of fish that populated the Paleozoic seas. Countless species with unique adaptations and characteristics captured the imagination. Anapsid fish like the Pharyngopolis oblongus boasted bony spines as a defensive measure, while jawless fish such as Adiolapsus tessellata 
and Cephalapsis showcased the vast diversity of this ancient group, thriving in both saltwater and freshwater environments. A momentous evolutionary milestone emerged during the Paleozoic era, the appearance of jaws and vertebrates. Fish like acanthodians and placoderms became pioneers in possessing jaws, accompanied by spiny fins and protective bony carapaces. From Caracanthus mercosoni to Climatius, these fish demonstrated a wide range of adaptations and hunting strategies, marking a transformative era in the evolution of aquatic life. But the Paleozoic seas held even more wonders. Armored fish, adorned with thick bony armor on their heads and thoraxes, became prominent players in marine ecosystems. Among them, the formidable Dunkleosteus commanded attention with its sharp teeth and impressive size. Meanwhile, gigantic arthropods like Acutoramus and Phragmacaris dubian patrolled the waters, exhibiting extraordinary dimensions and unique swimming techniques. As geological events shaped the Paleozoic world, continental collisions gave rise to majestic mountains, reshaping landscapes and influencing marine habitats. Simultaneously, vegetation began to flourish on land, transforming Earth's surface. This shift, fueled by photosynthesis and declining carbon dioxide levels, facilitated the growth of stromatoporoid reefs and spurred the proliferation of brachiopods, echinoderms, and mollusks. The Paleozoic era is a tapestry woven with ancient wonders, from the vibrant coral gardens and the diverse fish species to the armored giants and the ever-changing landscapes. After the Paleozoic era comes the Devonian period, a fascinating chapter in Earth's history, where coral reefs flourished and armored fish ruled the seas. Amidst the expanding coral reefs, a new group of fish emerged, the lungfish. These remarkable creatures possessed the ability to breathe through both gills and lungs adapting to the ever-changing aquatic environments of the Devonian seas. This evolutionary innovation provided them with a competitive edge and allowed them to explore a wider range of habitats. As we explore the Devonian seas, we encounter a dazzling array of fish species, each displaying unique morphologies and survival strategies. One such species, the Lepidosiren paradoxa, showcased a sleek and elongated body ideal for swift swimming and hunting in open waters. On the other hand, the Neoceratidus forsteri boasted a robust body with sturdy fins, enabling it to navigate shallow waters and survive in tumultuous environments. But fish diversity did not end there. The Devonian period witnessed the emergence of various other fish species, each adapting to their specific niches and habitats. From the ray-finned fishes to the lobe-finned fishes, a multitude of forms and adaptations flourished. Some fish developed elaborate fin structures, while others evolved intricate jaw mechanisms, expanding their dietary options and enhancing their hunting prowess. The seas of the Devonian period were a vibrant tapestry of life, with fish species filling every ecological niche available. From the majestic lungfish to the diverse array of morphologies displayed by species like Lepidosaurin paradoxin and Neoceratotus forsteri, this era was a testament to the adaptive powers of life. Next comes the Permian period, a chapter in Earth's history filled with breathtaking geological transformations and astonishing marine ecosystems. As we venture into the Permian seas, we are greeted by a mesmerizing sight. Sprawling coral reefs stretching as far as the eye can see. These reefs, akin to underwater cities, were bustling hubs of activity, teeming with an incredible array of marine life. From stony corals with their intricate skeletal structures to delicate sea fans swaying in the gentle currents, the reefs were a testament to the resilience and beauty of the organisms that called them home. The Permian period was not just a time of vibrant coral reefs. It was also an era of monumental geological shifts. Pangaea, the supercontinent, took shape during this time, 
as continents collided and merged together, reshaping the face of the planet. Vast oceans transformed into interconnected waterways, and coastlines underwent dramatic alterations. These geologic upheavals had profound consequences for marine ecosystems, as species found themselves facing new environments and opportunities for adaptation. However, amidst the splendor and grandeur of the Permian period, there loomed a tragic event that would forever change the course of life on Earth. The Permian Extinction. This cataclysmic event, often referred to as the Great Dying, stands as the most devastating mass extinction in our planet's history. It led to the extinction of an estimated 96% of marine species and marked the end of the Paleozoic era. The causes of the Permian extinction continue to be the subject of intense scientific investigation. One prevailing theory suggests that massive volcanic eruptions in what is now Siberia released vast amounts of greenhouse gases, triggering severe climate change and oceanic upheaval. This, combined with other factors such as oceanic anoxia, a lack of oxygen in the oceans, and the release of toxic substances, unleashed a wave of devastation that reverberated throughout the marine realm. The Permian period, with its flourishing coral reefs, the birth of Pangaea, and the cataclysmic Permian extinction, serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness and fragility of life on our planet. By exploring the rich tapestry of this era, we gain profound insights into the sources that have shaped our world and the resilience of life itself. When we look at Earth's prehistoric oceans, we are left in awe of the profound impact they have had on our planet's history and the intricate web of life they have nurtured. The mysteries and wonders hidden beneath the waves continue to beckon us, enticing us to delve deeper into their depths. Will we uncover new species, ancient secrets, or unforeseen connections that shed light on our own existence? Like, share, comment, and watch more content like this here.